So uh, in, in the world of media and politics, there's something called a lid. And when you're talking about communications from any organization that runs with a press pool, meaning a group of reporters that's assigned to a person or a campaign or the White House, for example, you know, the White House has a press pool. And there are there are there are reporters whose job it is to go to the White House every day, wait around, get all the information, report back and then leave at the end of the day. Uh, there are reporters in the press pool that follow the president around. There are reporters in the press pool that follow the other candidates like Joe Biden around. Although with Joe Biden, it's not so much following as much as it is just sitting in a hotel in Wilmington, Delaware. And a lid is when uh, it's what the communications director or the press secretary will tell the press when there's no more news for the day. You know, they say we're, there's a lid, a full lid, or we're putting a lid on it, like a pot. You know, the lid is covered. Nothing else is going to come out. And that's, that's, that's media speak for you can go home and come back tomorrow. We're not going to release any more news. Nobody's going anywhere. We're done for the day. Thank you. Good night. Well, yesterday, <laughs> the Joe Biden campaign at 9.20 a.m., told their press pool, that means the reporters whose job it is to go in and report every single day on the Biden campaign, at 9.20 a.m., when most people are just getting to work, the Biden campaign announced to reporters there was a lid on the day, which means at 9.20 a.m. yesterday, the Joe Biden campaign had no campaign events scheduled. They had no interview opportunities with the vice president. There were no Q&As, questions, Zoom calls. There were no statements. There were no written statements. There was no agenda items. There were no talking points, tweets. There was no information. There was nothing newsworthy at all coming out of the Joe Biden campaign for president yesterday after 920 a.m. In fact, the only statement they made yesterday was we're putting a lid on the day. And that happened at 9.20 a.m. This is a man who's running for president. And in 55 days, 54 days, Americans are going to have to decide if he's the guy for the job. He put a lid on his campaigning the day after Labor Day. This is Labor Day is the official. That's when everyone starts paying attention to the election. That's when everyone says, OK, no more messing around. Now we got to focus in on this election. That's why Donald Trump's out doing all these campaign stops. In fact, yesterday, the same day that Joe Biden was sitting at home doing nothing, the same day that they put a lid on their campaign information at 920, Donald Trump was at work. At 11.20, he left the White House to go to Maryland to get on a plane to fly to Florida. He flew to West Palm Beach, drove to Jupiter, did a huge campaign event, went back to West Palm Beach, got back on the plane. Did he fly back to Washington? No. He flew to my hometown of Winston-Salem, North Carolina, where he gave another speech, a very long, and this thing clocked in, I want to say, just under two hours. He gave another long speech to a crowd of thousands. Crowd of thousands started at about 7 p.m. Then when he was done, he got back on the plane. He went back to Andrews. He went back to the White House. He arrived back at the White House at 10, 10 p.m., which meant he was traveling and speaking and campaigning and presidenting for 12 straight hours yesterday. Donald Trump, that guy went to three states yesterday. Joe Biden put a lid on it at 920 a.m. I think they've put a lid on this entire campaign.